Hello, Bailey. Hello, Jessica. It's Monday. I know that Bailey's laughing uncontrollably right now. <laughs> okay, so we have a lot to talk about today. and a lot of time to do it. Um, so, the first thing I'm going to talk about is why I'm wearing these awesome things right here. Um, for Halloween, last Friday, it was really fun. I went as Dr. Horrible, and um, for Jessica, Bailey, and I were all in the band, as we mentioned before, and for we had a football game on Halloween. So, we did a sort of field show thing that was really fun, and a video of that. <laughs> And then um, out of that, we went to a party where, uh, well, Bailey and I went to a party where we discovered that if I put my goggles on like this, especially when I flip them up, she she starts, it's it's really funny, and she laughs uncontrollably. Okay, so this is really funny. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Seriously, when I do that, she does that. That was really funny. What? <laughs> She's so dumb. She looks like she's Part two, um, addressing challenges. Uh, the first one from a couple weeks ago, actually, from Bailey, who challenged me to read something that I've written, and which is really good timing now because it's the first video in November, which means now Rhymo has started, and I'm really excited. I'm doing that. Uh, link in the sidebar for my profile thing if you guys want to pay attention to that. Um, so I'm going to read the prologue to this. It hasn't really been edited. And it probably sounds really weird, but I'm going to try anyway, I guess. Right now, after everything had happened, the only thing that mattered was this little girl. Darcy looked at her watch, her stomach churning with the anticipation that never seemed to go away. There was something about this moment that made her feel so much. She watched as a familiar boy and walked over to the little girl who was still reading her book. The boy kicked dirt into her lap. The girl dusted herself off but kept on reading. The boy was mad. He yelled at her. Darcy always assumed he called her names, but she never tried to walk close enough to find out what. The little girl stayed calm through this, as she always had, until he stole her book. At this, she screamed, lunging for the precious object. Her fingers barely brushed up against the cover as she jumped for the book the boy held high above his head. He shoved the girl into a tree, laughed, then threw the book back to the girl, and he walked away. This was the moment the universe changed. I did notice that was really dark. Yes, yeah, so that was the prologue. Hopefully that'll be going on. I'm actually about a day behind because um, I got infected, my computer got infected by a virus this weekend, so I was downloading, or not really, I was downloading antivirus software and doing antivirus scans to try to get the virus off my computer, and now it's off, so I should be good, but that's what most of my weekend was been doing. Um, yeah, and then challenge, um, Jessica's challenge for me, too, for my three biggest pet thieves, um, the pretty related one is people who are really condescending. Like, I really don't like it when you basically, like, you just act like you're better than, like, everyone else, even when you're not. And that you just think you're better than everyone else, and it's just kind of really annoying to me. Um, another pet peeve I have is when you're talking about things that you obviously have, like, you have no idea what you're talking about, but you talk about it anyway like you do, so, like... I don't know, especially if I really know the topic well, and they're just talking about it, like, they have no idea... And it just, that's really annoying. Um, third one, I don't know. The third one would probably be, um, just things that waste time. Like, I mean, I'm all for, like, goofing off and stuff, but, like, especially at school, like, if you're sitting there and you're having this really stupid assignment that does you no good and it's just a waste of time, that really gets on my nerves, too. I don't really like doing something that's a complete waste of time. And now, before I explain the challenge for this week, um, it was, I guess, one of our viewers that the three of us know in real life, um, Nick, who's also done an intro on one of Bailey's videos, he told, he told us that basically he wanted someone to be punished after last week was kind of lame with computer problems and me being sick, and yeah, so we decided that he wanted to punish somebody, and he decided to punish Bailey, and Bailey, you're probably going to really be mad at him and punch him or something at school tomorrow. But his challenge, or pun I guess it's more of a punishment for you, is that he wants you to speak in grammatical errors, like your entire video. If you want more of an explanation, ask him before Friday. But he just wants you to make a whole bunch of grammar errors in your video. 
Okay, now my challenge for whoever I gets picked by these things um, is to play part of a pet band song. Okay, so this is, I've been sick for a really long time and I just have this on my desk. Um, we're gonna use Dayquil and Nyquil to have the little smellable things. Um, Jessica's gonna be the orange Dayquil and Bailey's gonna be the green Nyquil. And yeah, here we go. It's kind of random. Oh, let's check it up again. Uh, it's green. So Bailey, you get to play your trombone for pet band, which is exciting because I like the trombone. Okay, this was probably a really long video. I haven't edited it yet, but this will be interesting. Um, so um, I'll see you all tomorrow at school, and Jessica, I will see your video Wednesday. Hopefully, you'll get your computer programs worked out. And Bailey, I really hope you didn't challenge me because I haven't gotten YouTube to work on my computer. So if you challenge me, I'm doing your challenge next week, or you could have told me at school today. So I'm hoping you didn't challenge me. So yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow and I'll see your videos this week, hopefully. Goodbye. I love you.